Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's me, Chris McDonald. I'm back. And this time, I'm giving you another episode of what you always seen, the genius stories. Hold on for me, would you? In another episode series, there's a man, a crooner, who always riding his musical chariots. Who am I talking about? Checking out that person, Mr. Derek Harriot. Oh, there was a time when I lived around Kingston 5 area when I grew up listening to Derek's music. He had all the 14 charts buster hits, including that song. What can I do? Yeah, what can I do? And even the others too. In the 60s, he is originally from the group The Driving Juniors. He sang with all that does a doo wop until he came solo by himself. You should have seen all the records that he has in a library. Oldies, but still goodies, I say. First time in the early 90s when I went to his store, One Stop Record Shop upstairs in Twin Gates Plaza, I visit him and I meet him for the very first time. I say, look man, I have a song on, on a cassette I want you to listen. It's just my original. I told him I'm a singer so that he should listen to it. So he did listen to my song on a cassette. So three days, we went to the studio that called Mixing Lab in Kingston. And we did a session there, you know, while Sly Dunbar, the drummer, was there. He was programming something on his drums. And then he laid it all on track. And then it's my turn to put on my own things, what I always played. Then after that, I just started to voice immediately as a rough voice. So by the next day, I went back to the studio and just voiced the real thing. So in a couple of days, he called me and said, well, my record is out. And he had it by his store on his recording label of Crystal. So I went there and then just have a listen to it. Days gone by as I always visit his store in Twin Gates Plaza while I came here just to hang out with some friends who I knew. Then he asked me that what if he wanted me to sing the backup for him at many shows. I said, well, no problem. So he made me sing backup while the band was at the show with Lloyd Parson with the people band that plays at Heineken Star Time or Stars of Us. First time I went to Montego Bay just to do a show with him at the Sun Fest as his backup singer while two others are also sing too. One is named Carlton Smith of the Tamlins and another one is the late Bonnie Brown. Next time I'll talk about him. He always called me and asked me to pick him up and carry him to the studio just to do a dub play session for somebody. A specialist for every sound clash that everybody wants to hear his voice. Sometimes when we're at the studio, he is voicing something first. It took hours and hours and hours with him. So here I am standing here, just came inside here, put on my harmony, and that's what I did. While he used his own music to put his voice while voicing. And after, when we finish, then we left the studio, drop him back to his own store, then just hang out for a while until when it's time for me to get back to my home. And he said, where are you going, Christmas? Just, just hang out for a minute, man. He has something to give me. I said, well, all right, I'll just wait for a while. His sons maybe said he's born a loser, but for Freddie McGregor, he said he's born a winner. That was all I said about the genius story about Derek, the chariot, Harriet. I am here still working on it, but guess what? I'm just checking out